Okay, today what we're doing is a leak test. We have a cylinder here that has developed an antifreeze leak. This is a liquid cooled uh, 690L, a liquid 70 horsepower engine. This is on, on our Challenger 2 and this particular cylinder had started blowing antifreeze. Now I've been trying to find the leak. What I've done is I've made up a plug to plug off the water port here. I've made a plug to plug off the water port here and put in a Schrader valve that I can inflate. Pressurize the whole system in the water jacket part to find the leak. So what we do now is we turn on our air compressor to three pounds of pressure. And we take some leak detect. We spray it down inside the cylinder. And there's our leak. So now it's leaking down right near the head, right where the head bolts on. So we're going to take it back apart and find out exactly why it's leaking. This developed after about 10 hours of flying. This was a brand new engine. So it turns out that this is some sort of a casting defect. Probably can't be fixed. The only thing that this engine has for head gaskets is two little O-rings. There's a compression O-ring and a water jacket O-ring. And I know that those are good because those were just replaced. I tried everything and I just had to come up with some sort of a way to pressurize this system. Now, if we look at the casting, it's on this side. If I can get this so the camera can pick it up. Right here, there is a little tiny pinhole. I don't know if the camera can get that or not. But there's a little tiny, this is the water jacket right here. This is water jacket, this is water jacket. And right here, there's another little tiny casting. I don't know if you can see that little crack right there. But there is a small light on it just right. Maybe you can see it. Right there. There's a little tiny distortion. And that little tiny distortion right there is actually lined right up with this little hole right here. And that little hole right there is leaking right straight through so I don't think this casting can be fixed. We may have to send this uh, out to see if it can be done or we're just gonna have to try to find a new casting. At least now we know that we have a way to do a complete pressure test on this engine so that each, each individual cylinder can be tested for water leakage.